Hello everybody and welcome to another Let's Play. My name is Marston64. What a coincidence that I'm playing something on the Nintendo 64. Which is, by the way, my favorite video game console of all time. Next to the NES and all the other good classics. Made by Quest! I don't know if you know this game because unfortunately not many people do. However, this is a very good game. This is Ogre Battle 64, Person of Lordly Caliber. Let us do a new game. I mentioned I would be doing this game a while ago, but I never actually got around to doing it because the emulator was all wonky. And now that I have my uh, recording software to record the actual NES and N N64, I'll be doing that. I'm not sure if I should really do voice this. I think I'll just talk over it and talk about uh, Ogre Battle 64. Now, an Ogre Battle 64 is a game released back, I don't know, back during the N64 times. And uh, Ogre Battle is actually a series, you can read this if you want, it's not that important. Ogre Battle is a series that involves, uh, well, it's, it's like they make the games all out of order. They had this weird story all planned out, apparently. The first game was released on the SNES, and it was like, it said, Ogre Battle! Game 6! And they were like, what? There's, there's not been an Ogre Battle game before this. And I don't know which one this is, I think this is like, Game 4, so I don't know, I could be completely wrong. And this, this, uh, this scene right here, just to mention it really quickly, to mention the game I'm actually playing. It uh, has, has a lot of bromance in it. But anyway, there are like four uh, Ogre Battle games. This is the second one that was released and the best by far. Ogre Battle on the SNES, I own it as well. And it's just, it's not bad. But after playing this, I could never, ever play that for long. It's just, I'd much rather play this. So much better. Such a good game. And then the other ones aren't anything like these like the first two so that kinda threw me off they're more like Final Fantasy Tactics or something like that Ishka Military Academy sounds like we're in Russia which actually makes sense because this is the ice area which we'll be getting to much later in the game Act 3 I believe now I do believe I'll get into actually paying attention to the game and voice acting it since I've talked about a bit of the background of the actual game series itself. He who has learned the ways of the sword and God's teachings, in accordance with the traditions kept since the days of the progenitor, I shall, I shalt now complete thy training with an oath to our mother Bertha. What is thy name? I'm going to go with the traditional name, Magnus. Yes. Yes. What is the date of thy birth? July 25th, which I'm going to forget. So I'm going to need to look back at this video sometime. Magnus Gallant, I ask thee, what dost thou hold my s thy sword? I hold hatred within my sword. No, I hold talent within my sword. What shalt thou sever with thy sword? I shall sever silence. I, with my sword, I shall sever silence. I am epic. Look at me bow. I shall beseech them for trust. I think we're going to change this just a little bit. I'm not going to do love like I normally do. I'm going to do, uh, truth. Because when I did love, which I actually tried to do a video earlier, but that failed. Uh, I think I'm going to ask for, uh, strife. Um, serenity. What shalt thou read from this land? Honor! Uh... The only good thing here is chaos. So I'm going to put chaos. But when I did that before, I got like, all mage items. And uh... And a bow. But... Th what, what I was actually doing here, he gives you gifts, and based on what you do there, your gifts in starting, uh, people, will be based off of that. See, now I got a bunch of swords, and b beforehand I got a bunch of, uh, well, not swords, 
And that Pedro I will get into later. It's like the special item you use to do super damage. You can't even use it all that often. Especially not to like Act 3. Trust me on that. Ogre Battle Saga, Episode 4... 6. I can't read. I can't read Roman numerals. Oops. Person of lordly caliber. Well, I did say, uh... March of the Black Queen was number 6. That might be 4. I have no idea. I actually think that that might be number 5. This might be like the quote, direct sequel, even though it barely has anything to do with that game. Nonetheless, I am glad that I think I'm the only people who's, person who's let's played this game or is currently let's playing it. No one's actually beaten the game yet, by the way, on, on uh, y YouTube, that is actually using his old N64 to play the game. Everyone else used emulator, and emulators have a hard time doing this game. I don't know why, but like right now, everything would be black except for Magnus and them. And maybe the door. <laughs> but anyway, it's just really awkward. Prologue. Testing their grit. Their gaze on the ground. Trudging along. So yes. Welcome to Ogre Battle. This game is going to take me a long time. I will say that right now. A long goddamn time. However, I'm going to try and do like one mission every single video. So these videos are going to be god awful long. Welcome to the Pal Palatinian Army, Southern Division. I'm sure you all know that Alba is the most rugged region in Palatinus. Palatinius. I have no idea how to pronounce some of these words. This guy's a douche, by the way. Just throwing that out there. And when he's standing like this, it looks like he has a hat on. Hmm. It looks like some of you are graduates from the military academy in the central region. I have absolutely no idea why you chose to come here, of all places. Did you think you could slack off? If that's the case, and I suggest you think again. Yes, because we are totally that kind of guy. Don't expect any special treatment. All that counts is your ability. Remember that. Look at all the people in here. I'm sure all those generic soldier-looking guys are completely useful and important to the plot, right? That's all I have to say at this point. Now I want you all to go on an e training exercise. Ariash, you take care of the rest. And Ariash here, who looks exactly like the guy in front. They could be frickin' twins, for all I know. Before we start the exercise, we must get organized. It's also good to see two women in there. This is an equal opportunities army. Monael, Magnus, Diomedes, Minotaur, Leia, and Alex. You are selected as command candidates. Wait in the hall. You will interview your advisor for in a short while. Follow your advisor's instructions. Work hard to become competent soldiers. That's all. No questions asked. Understood? Well, if there's no questions asked, then why did you ask us if we understand? If I say no, then what the hell am I supposed to do? Whatever. Never mind, I don't understand the army. I guess he'd go all full metal jacket on me. What's your name, soldier? Your private pile from now on. Come in. <laughs> I'm an old man. I actually did a, some videos of this ages ago. Like, 2010 New Year's. Magnus Gallant for putting his request in, sir. And I never actually uploaded them because they're giant as all hell and on an emulator. So, I decided not to upload them. And those were actually kind of funny, too. So I'm going to try and use some of the jokes I did back then. So you're Magnus. Hmm, I see. What? <laughs> LOL, what? My name is Hugo Miller. I'm your advisor. I'm an old man. Graduated from the Ishka Military Academy, eh? What are you, nervous? Don't worry, I'm here to guide you. You'll get used to it in time. Alright, you're dismissed. What? This is... Yeah, this is, uh... Excuse me, but... Is that it? What? When you get old, you can tell a lot by just looking at people's faces. Or we lack strength, or knowledge and ex... Where am I? What? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Get out of here! 
Oh, hey! It's the mailman! Come to bring me my bowl of oatmeal! I don't know where the hell I was going with that. It just came off the top of my head. I'm going to make fun of Hugo's oldness a lot throughout this Let's Play, probably. And this guy's douchiness. This is Diabetes! Di Di Diabetes. Rangu, reporting as requested, sir. Diabetes. Hmm, I see. I'm an old man. What the hell? Why are you yelling at me? Who are you? Voice cracking. Yeah, you can tell what kind of guy this diabetes is. Gosh, what a douche. <laughs> I would never do that kind of thing, though. Let's take a look at our people really quickly. Uh, unit commands. I just want to look at the units. Um, there we go. Okay, that works. Here is Magnus. He is our main dude. This is how you play the game. The game is set up so that you have, um, little, uh, squads full of I believe it is up to five people. Yeah, you can have maybe six. I do not remember how many. I'll find out eventually. But you can have a certain number of people in each squad. I'm pretty. Act I'm actually pretty sure it's five. But uh, and each squad, it's set up so that it's in three different uh, tiers. Your people have different moves in each tier they're in. For example, see Magnus can attack two times in the back square and two times in the front square. But, when he's in the middle square, he can only attack once. And the damage is also changed upon that. And at the same time, if he's in the left square, he can only attack people that are in the, uh, who are in, like, the square. How do I say this? Okay. Say he's in the right square on the actual battle screen. Then he can only attack the people on the right and the center. He can't go all the way to the left. You'll see this when I get into battles shortly. But uh, right now, just taking a look at all the people I got. I got a knight. I think I'll change that a little bit later. These fighters should be in the front. I'm going to change that. These soldiers will stay in the middle. I need to fix up this army, of, uh, this squad a lot. I never actually use fencers. I've wanted to use fencers, but I never really used them. Maybe this will be a good chance to. I'm sad that I don't have any mages, but eh, what can you do? move you there, and move you there. Let's move him here, let's move him here, let's move you there, let's move you there. Alright, now Magnus should be here. These guys get two attacks in the back, so they should always be in the back. And that's about good. Alright, we're good. Let's go to Tenna Plains, the first area of the game, the Southern Reaches. Every single one of these uh, levels or scenes is uh, pretty, it's going to take a while to do all of them, or even one. It takes like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do one level. I'll talk about it as we get into it. Screensaver. Magnus Gallant, reporting as requested, sir. Diabetes Rangu, reporting as requested, sir. It's going to be a running theme, get used to it. If you're insulted by diabetes, I'm sorry my uncle died of it too. Oh, I didn't expect you two to arrive at the same time. Nice and prompt. I hope you came prepared, diabetes. Why are you just me? Man, that pisses me off. Call me Dio, alright? Or Dio, Diomedes, I don't know. Better not call me Diomedes or else. I apologize if my horrible pronunciation of things pisses you off. This guy's kind of a hothead. I want you to head to Theodricus Mine to the west. There's been quite a number of incidents recently where the workers were attacked by wild beasts. In addition, there are bandits in the area. The locals are very concerned about the situation. Now go take care of it. Take a look at this map. Let me begin. Zemio will be our headquarters. From headquarters, you can dispatch units or order them to retreat. Do not let your headquarters be overtaken. Let me explain how strongholds are displayed. Colored icons indicate strongholds. Units in a stronghold will rest and recover hit points. This blue circle indicates the stronghold belongs to you. Red circle indicates the stronghold belongs to your army. And that's neutral arm. And that's neutral strongholds. You shouldn't take those. I'll mention that in a minute. Blue square indicates headquarters. Blah blah blah. 
get down to business. You have to go take the uh, take their headquarters. Pretty easy. Bandits and monsters in the area. First time leading the troops. Slow, caution stuff. Yep. All right. That I'll get into that once we get into the actual place, because these guys are still talking. I have so much stuff to talk about about this game. This game is pretty damn complicated. Magnus, you command the troops. You can handle it, can't you? This is an order. Then why'd you ask me? Let's start the training. I'll be waiting outside. And it's the airhead again. Wait a minute, what's this all about? Can't make some snap judgment on something like that without a test or anything? I tested each of you in my own way. Besides, it's only temporary. Don't make such a fuss about it. You hear me? I'm an old man. Grumble, grumble. Kids these days and their fancy schmancy yelling at me. <laughs> Close the door with my mind powers. Why do you get to be the commander? Come on, let's take it outside. Okay. Oh boy. It's going to kill me. Why? I challenge you, one on one. I don't mind if you're strong, but I don't want anyone... Don't let anyone weaker than me be my commander. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Fight me. And we actually have two choices here. You can say, okay. You can say, no, I'll pass. A lot of people who do Let's Play say, okay. But I'll say no. Because if you say yes, and then do something else later on, Diomedes will leave you. And I'm trying to be a good guy, so... No, I won't. What's the big deal about who's better than who anyway? I don't mind if you're the commander. What are you saying? You're so superior, you don't care? Are you mocking me because I'm from the south? This guy's a dick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Get a hold of yourself, Dio. Dio. Shut up. I can pronounce things the way I want. I'm an old man, after all. I'm 18. Why do you get so angry? Don't be so rash. The rest of your life isn't set in stone, right? But... But are for whores, enough. You'll eventually understand your sort Wait, what? Why did I say that? <laughs> what? That makes no sense. For now, follow my orders. I'll assess your skills according to your performance. Go take care of those beasts if you want to make a name for yourself. Damn it, we're not janitors, we're soldiers. Damn it, Jim, I'm not a janitor, I'm a soldier. What? Stop complaining and get your butts moving. And here is the mission screen. Okay. Mission start. Now, in order to start the mission, we should uh, dispatch all of our people. And we actually have more people now, so let's uh, just take a quick look at them using the organized screen. We got the people from Dio's group. We have Cookie, who's the uh, dragon tamer. They're okay, but they don't have a dragon right now, so that's kind of useless. And Hannibal, who's actually a phalanx. Phalanxes are good for defense, and that's about it. And then Golems, which are also good for defense, and that's about it. They get a lot better right later on, actually, once you uh, kind of level them up. Well, like, evolve them, almost. See, fencers, as I said, they're good for strength. Like, no, I don't mean strength. Like, damage. And you should probably have one in order to use the bastard swords you find, because you're going to find some bastard swords, but they're rare, so don't have a bunch of them. Uh, knights are always good. You'll eventually just upgrade these fighters to knights, which are basically just a good roundabout character. Uh, same with that. Archers are always good to have. Because they can just really kill people really easily once you level them up. Especially once they get to like level 2 archers or, you know, the evolved form of archer. Come on, I want to leave. The evolved form of archer, which takes 3 hits, I mean 3 shots. Right now, these groups are kind of lame. I'm going to be uh, pretty honest. I think I may combine, uh, maybe I'll combine Cookie and Hannibal. That might be a good idea. Okay, let me do that. Just really quickly. Um, we remove... These soldiers, and these soldiers, and yes. Okay, now let's add... 
you, the Dragon Tamer. See, where do I want you? I want you here. Let's also add you. Soldiers are special units, uh, in that they don't, they, they're really weird, they're really hard to understand. There are three soldiers in each little soldier pod, and, uh, every single time you win a battle and, like, gain EXP, how did that go? I think it's like, each soldier gains, like, god, I don't know how to explain it. After a, after a while, your soldiers will, uh, evolve into an actual unit. Which is your, really the definitive way of getting units. They don't gain EXP like normal people, I'll just put it like that. Alright, let's send you down there. Let's send Valentine down there, that's a weird name for a guy. I guess if you guys actually want to be characters, I can rename these guys into whatever you want them to be. So, say you want to be Keith. Tell me you want to be Keith. I don't mind that. Oh, I don't want you. I want to get Gaio. Who will go here. And then Hannibal. Who will also go this way. Now then. On the screen, as you can see, I send my people. And they will go try and take these strongholds. Which is the main focus of the game. And these are the strongholds. On the stronghold screen, you see the population, which is not important at all, and the morale, which is very important. You have a, uh, sort of a good and evil bar that you can never see in, in the game. And the way you increase the bar to the good side is if you have people who are good alignments take high morale areas, people who are neutral on my alignment take low morale areas, Oh boy, that was completely useful. And then people who are chaotic element take low morale areas. And then that's called liberating a city. If you take a city that has different morale compared to your alignment, that's not going to end well, and you're going to instead capture the city, which will bring down and make you bring down your populate uh, not your population, your popularity meter, I think it's called, or something like that. Southern Division? They're here already? Calm down, it's not that big of a problem. Our plan has already been initiated. We must stop them, or else it will come to naught. Nothing will change. Everything will remain the same. This is our future! I'll leave this place to you by as much time as possible. I look really ugly. Uh, Alright, you dogs! Get, get out of our way! Haha, <laughs> dogs. Okay, now, first thing I want to do is interrupt the command, and set it so they kill leader. Anyway, so yeah, I'm trying to be good, so I'm going to have them, uh... Have them, uh, take areas that are similar to, you know, their alignment. Because I like being good, it gets you more characters, really. Your alignment changes things like that. You get more characters and stuff like that. Oh, alignment up. Sweet. Ha, <laughs> we lost. Okay, so the reason I made them attack the actual, um, leader is because when you attack the leader... Oh, hey, we got something. When you attack the leader, he, uh, he'll die, normally, if you're smart. And then, um, let's go this way. And then he'll run away from you. The group won't actually actively do anything. They'll just run away from you. Which makes them much less dangerous. Let's have Hannibal go and try and take this place. And then, uh... Keith, you just rest in here. Because your fighter's been kind of wounded. So, see, see, he's running away. He's not going to do anything. And he's not going to gain back his dude. So, it's completely safe now. Alright, we're being attacked by a witch! Witches are really annoying. Let me let me tell you about that. You'll probably see unless you use poison, which isn't actually annoying. In fact, it's a very useless ability. Wow. Dio's group is kind of failing right now. Oh yep, she's using poison. Good. It's kind of useless. 
God damn it, come on, there we go. Alignment up! Sweet. Well, actually, no, not sweet. I want Dio to be evil. Well, not evil. Chaotic. I want his group to be chaotic. Because I need at least, like, two chaotic groups, you know. You know how it is. <laughs> want you guys to be evil. And... Anyway. I was going to say something about the uh, neutral area down there. Do not take neutral cities unless you absolutely have to. Because you can't liberate neutral cities. You can only capture them. So, uh, I don't advise doing that. Okay, Dio's going to attack this guy head on. Oh, you're already doing that. Okay, good. At the start, they don't attack the leader, which is, as I said, probably the best course of action. Sweet critical hit. This guy should be dead with- oh, crap. Don't critical hit me. I'm supposed to only critical hit you. It's not cool. Wine, bitch, moan. Sweet. Rape. Alright, alignment down. Good. <laughs> Man, this video is taking forever, isn't it? I apologize. Probably shouldn't have it go over 30 minutes. But, uh, whatever. This should be ending relatively soon. Well, not relatively soon. Maybe within, like, 6 minutes. Whoops. Aw, oh, stop guarding! Stop missing! <laughs> Uh, I never really, I never actually really like these full-on force groups, especially not at the beginning of the game where they're not even really that good. Like, see, Dio, he only does five damage. These guys do like what eight? That's, that's depressing. How much more damage they're doing than their leader, who's like the main dude? Wait, she's trying to run away. It's not going to do very well for her. She'll start. Oh, hey, sweet. Altar of Resurrection. Keep following her. She'll try and run away when she has that. With that, she'll be like, Oh, I have to run to my place. And, uh, it doesn't always work. Alright, sweet. He's attacking Wyatt, which will probably knock him out. Well, Wyatt, or this Griffin, at least. Griffins are these weird beast characters that you see here. They're pretty cool in that, like, you don't get them as you normally do. Sometimes when you wander around, you run into, uh, special beast characters, like, uh, griffins. Or, dragons. Or, uh, pumpkin heads, which are the best. But, uh, yes. You can run into people like them, and that always ends pretty well, in that you can befriend them, and if you're lucky, they will, uh, be like, oh, hey, sure, why not? We'll join your army. And if they join your army, then, uh, huzzah, you got a new better... Well, not better. It's some, a lot of them are actually really good uh, kind of people. So, you know, always a good idea. To try and uh, recruit as many as you can. Especially certain kinds. Like, this golem, he could turn out to be a pretty damn good guy. As you can see, he attacks three turns in a row, which is already making him a pretty good powerhouse. And then, a dragon. Dragons turn into really strong characters. After a while. Alright, Dio, keep chasing her. Come on. Rape her. Rape her. You know you want to. Alright, it's been liberated. Magnus is going around... Behind, Magnus does it from behind. All right. Let's have you switch to attack the leader. Oh wait, there is no leader in this group. I probably should have had those uh, guys be in one group. I'll change. I mean, one line. I'll change that because, as you could see, probably before, soldiers can form into one group and uh, do more damage overall when they do that if there are more on one line. So I'll do that right now. Change the formation. Put it right there. Okay. Now I want you to actually chase this guy now. And, uh... Sweet. Okay. For a lot of this game is going to be chasing down these guys. 
But that's because I want to actually win. Alright, sweet. Kill two people in one time, that's good. Check it out! Ninja Guard found. Let's camp. Let's have Hannibal chase after this guy. So anyway, uh, yeah, this game, I don't really know what to say about it now. I've kind of already explained all there is to the game. Well, not all there is to the game, of course. Definitely not all there is to the game. It's so in-depth in multiple ways, you have no idea. Alright, we got this guy. Uh, we already set up that, so uh, go ahead, exit. Oop. Oh, this guy should be dead this time, because didn't that golem do like three damage? Yeah, golem, that's what they're called. Excuse me. I forgot for a second. Awesome. Alright, good job, dude. You turned out to be an actually strangely good group. I didn't think you would. For some reason, my groups with, like, monsters in them never really are that good. Alright, Magnus, now I want you to head around this way and just, just, just head that way. Video, I apologize for it being so long again. I'm worried YouTube's like going to be like, you know, I know we said that we increased your, uh, your size, but we really don't want it to be like 18,000, uh, minutes long, so yeah, please, like, shorten it, which will piss me off. But anyway. Man, I feel good. Okay. Let's just stop you right there, Daya. Magnus needs to rest for a bit. That's something that's kind of annoying about uh, your troops, is that they they uh, get really tired after a little while of walking, and they will have to rest in these little camps. And uh, actually, a good thing is that the enemies do that too. So sometimes, if you time it just right, you're, uh, you'll run into the enemy while they're sleeping in their tent, and you do extra damage and they won't be able to hit you, because they're sleeping. Anyway, come on. Come on, Keith. Right, you can do it. I'm just waiting for Magnus now to basically uh, rest up fully. Oh, whoops. Come on, I know you can kill him. There we go. Why did he crit at the worst possible time? Whatever. He could have crit then and probably killed the Hellhound, but no. Not, yeah, he is a Hellhound. Never mind. That is a Hellhound. Alright, screw this. I'm just gonna, just gonna call out Magnus to go break camp and take him out. Listen to that beautiful music. Nice orchestrated uh, soundtrack for this game. Alright, and if you, uh, as you could probably see before actually in some of the other ones, you can uh, sneak up behind people and attack them from behind. Magnus does it from behind after all. You've come this far, but you won't get any further. I will defeat you at all costs. You are controlling the beasts? What are you doing here? Uh, why are you why are you doing this? What are you doing here? It won't do either of us good if I tell you. What are you going to do? You have the slightest idea of what we must endure. You want to know why we do this? Freedom. Yes, for freedom. That's it. Nothing else. Now prepare. That's some pretty specific denial right there. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's for freedom, but I'm not too sure. He just gave me an axe and told me to do this stuff. Now, if we're lucky, we should kill this guy in one turn. Without the worm doing too much damage to us, because that worm's kind of deadly. Good! Alright, that's why we uh, switched it over. And attacked him from the back, so he was easier to get to, quicker, and all that kind of stuff. 
And if you kill the leader in these boss battles, uh, you, you don't have to kill any other guys, which is always good. So yeah, attacking the leader is probably the best way to go. We got 8 soldiers and 561 goth, which is the currency. The currency. What are you planning? Nothing. We gotta head back, Magnus. Sounds like the prince has been attacked. LOL, LOL, LOL. Why are you laughing? What's so funny? What? You ask what's so funny? Your foolishness just cracks me up. What do you mean by that? Uh oh, music change. Do I have to explain everything? We were a decoy. Our true goal is revolution. You will destroy the royal family and the nobles and bring changes to this kingdom. You were ordered to get your attention. Didn't expect they'd dispatch rookies like you, but it's too late. We'll raise the flag of revolution on Prince Yumo's grave. <laughs> I am evil. Hey Magnus, wait, where are you going, huh? I'm just nonchalantly strolling along. Let's go rescue the prince! By ourselves? Are you out of your mind? I'm trying to give him a southern accent. Where exactly is Prince Yumo? How big is the enemy force? We have no information whatsoever. What are you supposed to do, huh, Magnus? Besides, how are we going to contract the main regiment? Control yourselves, diabetes. It's too late to join the Jane, the, the Jane Regiment, the main regiment. From the size of the decoy, the enemy force shouldn't be that large. Since we're closest, we must rescue the prince. Of course, the troops training nearby are also heading this way. Magnus, take command and rescue the prince. Understood. Understood. If anyone watching Bryce Self understood that, I mean, understood that. I think it's best you rescue him. What? <laughs> uh, LOL what? I'll head for the raid main regiment and give my report. But first, we should go to where Prince Yumo was attacked. It's difficult to devise a decent plan in this kind of situation, but I can at least give you some advice. Alright! We're done with uh, episode 1. Thank you all for putting up with me for this long. I know it was a long video. They're all going to be long, but this was probably much longer because it also had, you know, the intro to the actual game. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Ogre Battle. See you then.